the hell had Magneto strapped in that chair at the end? Who in the hell was that? Someone help me. Who is that? Remember, I read some X-Men comics growing up, but I mainly read Spider-Man. <laughs> and whenever he would cross over with the Avengers or with the X-Men or whoever it was, I got to see a lot of others. But I, I mainly collected. I have other comics, Batman. I have stuff on DC side. I have some stuff on Marvel. But mainly, you see my collection. It is a ton of Spider-Man. So, who the hell was that? All right. So, this episode uh, was another episode that ended up surprising me. Um, I didn't see anything that was W-O-K-E. But I know if there was something, someone will tell me. <laughs> um, so this episode, um, Rogue, well, they have Gambit's funeral. It's sad, you know, we got a picture of him that really expresses who he is. Like there's a picture there and it's like, ah, that they captured who he is right there. Um, so Rogue is flying around like Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, breaking atmosphere and sound barriers. Landing and breaking the ground beneath him. Although I don't know if Zack ever had him break the ground when he landed. I know when he shot off, he did. Superman Returns had him crack the ground when he landed, though. Can't remember, though. So, anyway, she is looking for, who is it, Trask? The guy that made the Sentinels or something? And uh, she's Bogarden. And strong hand and strong arm and everybody. Guess who shows up when she's looking? <laughs> Captain America. I was like, oh, I expect to see you. <laughs> so Captain America shows up trying to get her to do everything by the book and stuff. And, you know, she, she gets pissed at him and throws her, uh, <laughs> throws his shield away <laughs> into the mountains. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, was it Sunspot and Jubilee um, are uh, revealing to Sunspot's mother that he's a mutant. She's like, I already knew you were. Three of our houses caught fire since you turned 16. So so there's that. Um, meanwhile, they're cleaning up Genosha. You know, and Jean Grey's feeling everybody's pain and death and sorrow and afterthoughts and all this other stuff. And they find a telepath, but it's uh, Emma Frost. It's not, you know, Madeline. So he starts crying. And so anyway, they go a looking for Trask, I believe it is, right? But while Rogue was looking, I forgot who else it was she found. I guess she found someone who was working for them or whatever. And she tried to Brody him. And I don't know. I don't know if he's a telepath, but she was trying to zap his energy or whatever. She was telling him to stop, like, resisting her. But anyway, he gets away somehow. I guess it's probably because of the guy that I asked you guys about earlier. He puts dude to sleep. Suffocates him while he's recovering. So the X Men go and they find, I guess, Trask because I, I get these names mix, mixed up some, somehow. Thunderbolt Ross appears too, by the way, earlier in there. And Rogue is going crazy, and so the maker of the Sentinels is about to jump, and she stops him. She asks him for some info, and he's basically, "I got nothing." And she's like, "Neither do I." And she drops him. I was like, what? I was surprised. And then, but after she did it for a split second, I was like, wait a minute. He's responsible for the Sentinels. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Guess what? He turns into some damn The Exorcist Sentinel. Turned his head, spinning around on them. Somehow he's a sentinel now and he, they, he is fighting them and he is whooping everybody's ass. Everybody. Can't nobody do nothing with him. They had found out that he'd been working on some new futuristic 
Sentinels with is it Mr. Sinister or something? They're trying to figure out where they got this that technology. It makes me wonder if it's the ones from the movie of Days of Future Past because they're smaller and stuff, you know, they, they got that dark skin and everything. I don't know, but Cable shows up to save them with like an EMF grenade or whatever. And I'm just like, wow, man. Yo, another episode that I'm like, whoa. So at the end, it shows the guy who suffocated the guy in his bed and Mr. Sinister talking. And then he's got Magneto strapped up alive. I don't know how he saved him, how he got a hold of him. And he's shaving him, telling him not to move while he's got that blinking mutant power suppressing collar on him. Who the hell is he? Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Four out of five. Woo! 10 million subscribers.